My name is Dr. Taylor Chapel. I'm a marine scientist at Stanford University. And for more than a decade, I've been studying sharks in oceans all around the world. It's a female. Female. Since 2013, I've been working with the Bertarelli Foundation and with scientists from the University of Western Australia and the Zoological Society of London in Chagos, the largest no-take marine protected area in the world. Because of its isolation and with fishing now prohibited, Chagos is an amazing place to monitor animals in their natural habitat, away from human interference. Using cutting edge satellite and acoustic tagging technology, we've gathered data that have proved crucial in extending our knowledge of the oceans and helping to ensure their health. On our 2014 expedition, we were able to advance our studies by attaching camera tags to the dorsal fin of reef sharks for the first time. In addition to recording the shark's point of view, the device can track in three dimensions the shark's position, its depth, acceleration, and even the number of times it beats its tail. Once we've caught a shark with a barbless hook, we carefully bring it alongside the boat and clamp the camera onto its dorsal fin. We're all very experienced at tagging sharks, and their welfare is our first priority. After two and a half hours, the camera released as planned, popped to the surface, and transmitted a radio signal that helped us to find it. Right now what I'm doing is going over some of the footage. We're basically just living the shark's life for those two and a half hours, so it looks like it's in about three or four meters of water, and it's just cruising along the bottom. The footage shows us just how much the shark swims through sand channels. This may be to help it swim undetected from other predators, such as larger sharks. And in this section, we can briefly see her picking up speed and following a black tip shark, perhaps in a territorial display. Here she passes a school of black and white snapper. This video footage is so valuable because for the first time, this animal mounted camera technology is allowing us to witness the natural interactions between animals without them being influenced by the presence of divers who would normally film underwater. Here she is focused and powering through her movements, moving up and down rather than gliding and conserving energy. She gapes her jaws, possibly to feed or to force more water through her gills, just as we increase our breathing after vigorous exercise. As we're able to deploy this technology in our studies more frequently, our understanding of the ecosystems and the species we are trying to protect will grow. The underwater footage we collect from these tags is therefore truly groundbreaking. Myself and the team would like to thank the Commissioner of the British Indian Ocean Territory for allowing us to conduct these studies in this beautiful part of the world. <laughs>